Consciousness refers to the level of awareness and understanding you have for yourself and for the universe. The more that you grow your own level of consciousness, the more you realize that you and the universe are one in the same. Your level of consciousness will determine the level that you play the game of life at. Someone with a higher consciousness is aware of many different moving parts and can control their emotions and can create a plan and can take action towards a higher goal and to lead a greater amount of people. This is why consciousness is so important. You might not be a metaphysical or philosophical thinker, but it's a very scientific way of thinking is, okay, what is consciousness? It's a scientific question, which Eric Neumann tackles in his book, The Origins and History of Consciousness. In the book, he uses mythology to describe how our consciousness, our conscious mind has evolved. We start back, way back in time, you go through eight ancient cultures all around the world, and they start with creation myth. So what does that tell us? Well, if these ancient people are thinking about and telling stories about how the world was created, that means that they were asking the question, where did we come from? Now, obviously, they there's a whole bunch of mythologies in here, like in New Zealand, I think that some big human you know, like rose up and created the, smashed the earth and the heaven and smashed them together. And that's how, obviously, that's not scientifically correct, but in order to grow our consciousness, we must first find out what we don't know. This is what all the great scientists and philosophers do. They ask, okay, what do I not know? What, how, how are that, do aliens exist? How far back do humans go? Well, we don't know. In order to, it's a paradox because in order to know what you don't know, you need to find out what you don't know. Oh my God, what a, what a head fuck. So there is a universal principle called create and destroy. And there is another one called the law of polarity or contrast. So in order to know something, you must have an equal and exact amount of things that you don't know. In order to be conscious, we need to know what it's like to not be conscious, right? So to be unconscious of something is to look back in time. And when I was a baby and I was this passive body, this passive human, I was just suckling on my mum's breast and shitting in my pants and all this sort of thing. I wasn't conscious, but I can only know what being unconscious is because now I am conscious. So now I'm asking myself and I'm exploring. This is the hero's journey. I'm exploring what I don't know. I look inside my mind. I reflect and meditate and ask myself, what, where is my curiosity taking me? What are these voices? What's that voice? What's my intuition leading me to? What's my challenge? What am I here for? And as we grow in modern society, all of these, because there's so many people and technology is so advanced, there's a job and there's a little purpose with fucking everyone. And we're, as we're growing our consciousness, people are starting to become more lazy. That's why I love the stories of mythology, because they talk about the hero who takes on the challenges. They ask them, they look, they ask inside themselves, what does the world need that the world does not yet have? What is my flight? What is my journey that I'm going on? That is how you develop your consciousness. You don't develop your consciousness by sitting back and ordering Uber Eats and watching porn and doing whatever you want, whenever you feel like it and living off your animal instincts. That's not being conscious. Being conscious is asking yourself, what do I not know? How do I know more? What's my challenge? What's my fight? What am I being called to in order to know a greater amount? You must first face that darkness of what you don't know. In order to be more emotionally stable and strong and be a leader, you must ask yourself, where am I most emotionally unstable? Where Where is the darkest dark inside of me that I can penetrate through and shine light on? If I can shine light on the darkest part of my unconscious, it will help me 
to be more conscious, more aware of myself, who I am, what my journey is, where I'm going, how I'm connected with the universe, where the universe has been and where the universe is going. So in summary, the book, Origins and History of Consciousness, what a beautiful book talking about mythology and the the universal laws of we cannot grow unless we first look within ourselves and destroy who we are in order to grow to that next level. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.